has to keep the Chinese happy to keep the money flowing, to keep the loans coming. We have to borrow money from China to run the government. We're here with Brett Decker, who is the editor of the editorial page at the Washington Times and has a fantastic new book out, Bowing to Beijing, How Barack Obama is Hastening America's Decline and Ushering a Century of Chinese Domination. I'm looking at the back of the book and uh, Obama, of course, bowing to the Chinese president. Uh, why would an American leader do this and see nothing wrong with it? You know, that, that picture drives me up the wall. Everyone thinks I'm yes. too fixated on it. But, I mean, he's the he's head of state. Yeah. He's the president of the most powerful country in the world, at least still. You know, I haven't checked today, but, but he's, he doesn't just represent himself as a private individual. He represents this country. And he goes to the head of communist China and, and bows to the guy. I mean, it's a show of fealty, and it's a show of, you know, it's a, it's a sign of subservience. I think when you get to it, his government spending is so high. You know, people forget we're broke. We don't have any money. Our welfare state is more expensive than we can afford, so we have to go and borrow money to pay for it. And who's giving us the money? China. Mm -hmm. You know, we have 15 trillion in debt. 1.3 trillion of that is is Chinese. You know, so he has to bow to them because he needs them to give us the cash to keep his. Uh, so, do you think it was planned? Like, I'm going to meet him and I'm going to bow to him, or was just just sort of a gut, a gut uh, reaction on the part of Obama? I think it's a combination of things. I think it's it's Obama has this knee-jerk hate America disposition, you know, like when he was in Honolulu for the Asian e Economic Cooperation Summit this weekend, and people talked about us losing our, our competitive edge. I mean, he, what, what does he say our problem is? It's Americans are lazy, mm -hmm. right? It's always Americans are lazy, we're stupid, you know, we have, uh, you know. Which he was accurately describing the Occupy Wall Street group. Right, yeah, right, but, right. But not, but not most Americans. But, but not the, you know, <laughs> yeah. we have millions of Americans out of work. We have a 9% unemployment rate, and it's not because they're lazy. It's because they can't find jobs. Mm -hmm. And it's because he's spending too much money, right? The private sector isn't hiring people. Um, but when, when it comes down to it, I mean, he has to keep the Chinese happy to keep the money flowing, to keep the loans coming. We have to borrow money from China to run the government. And I think it's partly that, and I think... It's almost like an emotional problem. Why does he have to bow to everybody? Now, you know? um, Americans suspect that, that the Chinese are a threat. They, they, they sort of know that. But what in this book will shock them and say, wow, you know, I, I knew the Chinese were a threat, but I didn't know it was this bad. I think, you know, there's a lot of talk about, I mean, they build up their military, uh, like, amazingly. You know, we're cutting our defense, and they're growing, like, 70% a year. Um, they hide their budget, but they just launched their first aircraft carrier this year. They're building a second one. So they're going to have this amazing ability to project force uh, into the Pacific Ocean that I think you know, we should be worried about. But I think there are also some like, issues that get right into people's homes. Um, for example, uh, you know, they send hundreds of millions of, of pounds of food to America now. You know, they're the biggest importer of food behind Mexico into America. Um, and a lot of that food, you know, they break every sa safety, health, labor, mm -hmm. uh, any, any, any global standard for laws and decency you want, they break them. So they also are the number one country of uh, uh, shipments that are rejected at our ports for, uh, you know, being toxic or poisonous or have, you know, violating health codes. And um, you, you would tell me about th these imports, apple juice. Yeah. It would, you said 80% of the apple juice? It's unbelievable. I, I was eating a fruit cup the other day, and I flip it over just to see if there's sugar in it, and it says product of China, like chopped up peaches yeah. or made in China, a little cup. But apple juice, like everybody I know, their kids drink tons of apple juice, 80% of it comes from China. So all those little sippy cups could have like poisonous Chinese apple juice in it. Um, but all, all kinds of things like regular restaurant food, like 80% of some kinds of fish come from China. You know. Everything, everything you think, everything on your plate could be bad. So why aren't government officials worried about this? You know, I think we kind of have this mutual dependency with China, and a lot of people, frankly, get cash from China. You know, there's a lot of business interests uh, in the PRC, and those people have lobbyists, and I think people like to look the other way.